Goodbye, Tomatoes. <laughs> Goodbye, Tomatoes. Hello, Society Island. Yeah, I'm going back to society. ETA 11 p.m. No thanks. Pavitti Marina, Pavitti Marina, Pavitti Marina. Please tranquilo, we would like to come in at a pontoon, please. <laughs> yeah, we're making slow progress now, but predict wind saying the wind's going to pick up considerably. This really is the car before the storm in the lee of the island. There's much in the way of waves, but the forecast is for 2.5 metre waves once we get past the lee. So enjoy it while we can. For tidbits like you on the definitely picked up quite a bit. Most of them are quite benign, quite easy to sail through, but occasionally you get a quite a peaky one. You've got one reef here to give the speed up because if you get a bit of speed, the inertia carries you through even the peaky waves, so it's nice, still nice and gentle. Nothing to worry about, quite nice. Now, we could potentially unreef. The wind's about 80 knots, but there's a system coming through still, which looks like it might have a bit of, bit of kick to it. Definitely some squalls in it, so we'll keep it in at least until it passes through. As they say, if you're thinking about reefing in, reef in straight away. But if you think of unreefing, well, grab yourself a tea or a coffee, and after an hour then reconsider, you know, you're gonna unreef.
it's rough conditions like this where you just all you can do is grin and bear it like when you're having dinner so good to have hot food cold food hot food oh, like camping and hot food so good ride tonight. The wind speed's been 21 to 30 knots, so quite a bit more than predicted. A little while ago, down a wave, we hit nine and a half knots boat speed. That's the max I've seen anyway. And speed over ground down the wave, 11.8. So I decided I didn't want to catapult down those waves any faster. Brought in a bit of head sail and I also uh, trimmed the sails for around 125 wind angle which is pretty much where we're heading and then as the wind picked up like 28 29 knots when I really wanted to slow the boat down a bit I simply turned further downwind to around say 140 wind angle and what that did was for turning further downwind I took the sting out of the wind, there's less apparent wind, could be heading downwind a bit. And also I didn't touch the sails, so they were oversheeted, not delivering as much power. So that's my strategy for night watch single-handed, um, keeping a fairly stable boat speed and not having the sails luffing. But if someone else has a suggestion or an alternative strategy, then yeah, I'd love to hear it. Just write it in the comments. It'd be much appreciated. Unfortunately, this morning's conditions are pretty much the same as yesterday's raft with steep waves. But one good news is we can see Tahiti on the horizon. From here, Tahiti looks very lush and quite developed. Reminds me a bit of Martinique in the Caribbean. It's the most populous of the French Polynesian islands, and Papayette is the capital. But firstly, what I'm looking forward most to is a good coffee and a baguette, maybe a croissant as well. Right across uh, Point Venus, that's where uh, James Cook and his comrades in 1776 or so arrived to make measurements um, of apparently the planet Venus which uh, hopefully should help them estimate the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Two other measurements were taken on uh, different regions on the Earth at the same time. Uh, turns out when they all came back to England and co compiled their uh, numbers uh, the, uh, the concept didn't work for some reason. Who knows why? Yeah. <laughs> As we're heading into Papayete, it's strange to see all the trappings of of the modern world. You can see cranes. I can see silos. Trucks going back and forth. I'll tell you what, it's almost tempting just to head right and head for Morea.
This is just surreal. Here we are in the middle of the Pacific. We've just been on the most pristine Paradise Islands. I feel like we're, it's like being back in Europe again. Not just the marina, the housing, the freeway running past. It looks like there's cafes everywhere. This is really good. The French do make a good pastry. I'm getting used to civilization again, slowly but surely. Tonight we're all off to the Heva. It's like a three week dance extravaganza. Tonight is the second last night. And we're up for some hip shimmying. I don't know, we probably won't be involved as the audience, but who knows. <laughs> Something very ironic about chickens eating at McDonald's. Maybe even more ironic they were at KFC. I especially love the tiki with the third eye right outside the big M. So yeah, really nice vibe despite we'd heard that Pepe E.T. was really a bit dodgy, a bit rough. We like it. We're gonna join the locals and jump on the bus to Teo Falls for surf break. <laughs> We're gonna head out to the wave, we've got ourselves on a boat and just heading out now. Evan's just gonna have to swim back to shore. <laughs> How was it? Woo! Then the following one destroyed me. I tried to go underwater. Yeah. It's not enough underwater. I was like, So 
Good to see you, Evan. You guys are crazy. How deep was it? I got a bit scared. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't deep, was it? Yeah, it was very fun. But then after the surf, I was happy. I turned and I saw this mountain of water and I didn't know exactly what to do. I tried to went under water, but my team wasn't shaking a lot. It was hard. <laughs> I was a bit scared on that one. Ah, ah, you too. I was paddling so far to the right, but get away. How was it? Oh man, it was gnarly ass. First go in, no board, just to get a feel of uh, the Tahoku wave. Get smashed by the wave. Find my way up after like 20 seconds or so. Catch my breath. Second wave, bang, down again. Same story. I, I felt like I was inside the... Completely. <laughs> Show your back. Show your back. Show your back. Third wave. I go to the spray the coral. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah, I got some battle scars from Kahuku, if you remember. We know the chicks stick scars, but we don't have to do that, right? You tell me they don't. The waves are incredible. No surfers, but the three crazy body surfers catching their waves further out. Okay, so it was Evan, Michelle and Moro. You can see uh, Evan got cut up a bit. Just he got caught out and couldn't come back to the boat. But some really good kids surfing just closer to shore. We've been away from the previous marina out in Shelter Bay in Panama for a long time. So we've got a list of things we're going to get on with, an arm's length long. And so we're just going to, we're going to be here for about five days. We've just got to get on with things. One of the critical things we're going to get on with is get some more gas. We're down to our last bits of the gas canisters. So that's the first thing. It's all good. not going to be all just Really work. Zav on Las Gals lent us his Brompton bikes, so we're going to head over to the uh, gas refill on his bikes. Gas bottles dropped off. Next up, the Chandlery. Tell you what, it's good to be on a bike again, even if it is like 16 inch wheeled bike. I'll take wherever I can get right now. dragged everything out from all the nooks and crannies. Normally the food is under the sofa here and under Aiden's bed. And we've gone for, so all the things that Phil really likes, the tuna and the salmon, to make sure we've got some of those staples. And the things that I like, like corn in a can, is one of the few veggies I can stand in a can, um, black beans, things like that. And oh, another staple for Phil is wraps. I've worked out we are pretty sorted between here and Australia. There's 22 packets of wraps for starters to keep Phil happy. Um, enough canned veg because we'll also be able to pick up fresh stuff. Enough past like staples, pasta, rice, um, lentils, chocolates. Chocolate is a staple for me. Uh, he heaps of that. Evan? Oh, you want to go to Evan? Evan, front oh. front's going to come and stand up. <laughs> Evan, best crew oh. ever. Tiki two 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 two. We actually have the best that? crew ever. Oh, Evan. Yeah, we invented yeah, that. Evan. Look at that. Oh, that's the best. Best crew ever. The best. 
honor, like sailing honor I've ever received so far. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well done, <mate>. Cheers. <laughs> I was going to say a few things. I'll frame it and use it for all my future sailing Resume. endeavors. Yeah. 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 <laughs> We're not going to let you get away without us saying a few words. Oh. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. We, yeah, we have, you're the best crew we could have hoped for. And um, I'm amazed that in the two and a half months together, I don't think you complained once. Even though we... It's a bit of a feat with Phil and me around, but yeah, thank you. You're so good natured. Yeah, seriously, like, we are very grateful that whenever it was needed, you were so... You stepped in. So willing to, to help out. Super, super True. glad that you're, um, you've got amazing people, including, of course, Michelle, and you are ace yeah, as well, well, so... We told um, you we were taking him. So. Yeah. <laughs> we're really happy that you're continuing your sailing adventures. Yeah. And, yeah, the world's your oyster. Have yeah. a fantastic yeah. time. Thank you, guys. That deserves a hug. <laughs> Group hug! Yeah, yeah, Aiden! Yeah. Aiden, come here. Yay! Yeah. Alright, goodbye, Puppy, Team Marina. These Tahitians on their outriggers are fast. We're doing around six knots. I reckon they're doing around four. That's pretty fast. Looks like there's a sucking yacht over here. All you can see is the mast. Pretty nasty. If you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to follow our adventures.